Hi everyone, it's Grace from the Mulberry Journal. Before we get going, I just want to um, apologize in advance for my nasally sounding voice. I've got a bit of a cold, um, but that's not going to stop me. So um, I just thought I would do a really quick video for you, showing you through a couple of the resources in the uh, September Intentional Homeschooling Bundle. Um, I really, really am a massive fan of, of homeschooling bundles. I think that they come at the perfect time and they are always something that um, just helps you um, with with decision making and, and means that you don't have to, you know, sift through a whole bunch of resources on different websites um, and try and decide between prices and what's going to be on your wish list and what you'll purchase. But in fact, you get like in this case, two hundred over two hundred dollars in value for twenty five dollars. Um, and some of the things you might use now and some of the things might be helpful in six months or a year's time. Um, so yeah, I, I'm a massive fan, and that's why I just thought I would share with you this resource before time runs out. So. I think you've got like three more days to purchase this one before um, yeah, the, the deal is over. So when you purchase the bundle, it's 25 US dollars and you get all of these files that you can see here. Um, so here are my favorites. Um, I'll just go through a couple of them. So one of the things I love is um, that there is like a, a bit of a focus in this bundle on homeschooling your preschooler, which is something that um, I'm, you know, I've got a preschooler myself and a lot of parents sort of think that homeschooling begins when the child is five. Um, and so that's when they get registered, but really um, it begins from birth. And I'm, I'm always um, a massive fan of, of promoting that it's, it's beginning from birth and therefore all children learn at home first, even when they go to school afterwards. So this is a really beautiful ebook by Elizabeth from This Little Home of Mine, and it's basically got a whole bunch of ideas and concepts and things to consider about homeschooling your toddler. So this is definitely one that I'll be digging into. I've had a bit of a look already, and I'll just quickly show you the sort of things that are talked about in the, in the book. So, you know, even just giving the rationale for why homeschooling can start um, at the age of preschoolers, um, what to teach, finding good resources, staying organized, should you do lesson plans, and if so, what should they look like, um, and how to balance everything, and then also the question of siblings, if you've got older or younger siblings, to sort of balance everything in the family, so there's like a bit of a flow of, in, 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 with the dynamic there. So yeah, um, I've already had a bit of a glance over and read the first few chapters, um, and yeah, I found it really like a lot of the thoughts that Elizabeth shares really helpful and stuff that I haven't thought of yet or stuff that I didn't realize that I knew, if that makes sense. So sort of articulating feelings or instincts that I had and, and sort of being affirmed in that. So I would really recommend that resource. I think it'll give you lots of great ideas. Um, and Elizabeth has also contributed um, a letter a week activity guide. So this is again for toddlers, so two, three, and four-year-olds. And this is a really tangible kind of lesson plan-y um, sort of, uh, yeah, resource that you can use off the back of that ebook. So basically she just gives every letter of the alphabet, so 26 weeks worth, and she'll say with the letter A, give you a whole bunch of supplies, a whole bunch of books that you can look up, whether that be in the library or on YouTube or purchasing from Book Depository or another um, online store like that. And then she gets, sort of gives you like songs and, and stimulus and activities and um, open-ended invitations to play um, using all of the senses, which I think is just fantastic um, for this age group, particularly to, to be utilizing all the senses. Um, and she often links out to a STEM activity too, which I think is really nice. So um, it's quite open-ended. Um, she, so in, for example, here, like she talks about baking apples with butter and cinnamon. Like she doesn't give a, re a recipe, but I just think that these are ideas. You know, um, it's not like a everything in one place, every single thing. I think it's more of a here's an idea, and then you go off and Google the recipe because it's pretty easy to find a recipe on baked apples, right? So it's a really good starting point, and I think it's a, a great sort of yeah, a base to plan your days with if you're feeling a little bit uninspired with toddlers to focus on letters of the alphabet. So yeah, that's that one. What else have we got? Um, this one, oh, so there's so much I could talk about. Um, okay, this is really cool. So Chantel Klassen is the creator of the bundle and one of the resources is a guide to digitally traveling the world. So um, oh, this is something close to my heart because I'm sure a few of you might know that 
at the moment, my family and I are actually traveling the world and showing our, our son a whole bunch of different cultures. And so it's something that I get really excited about. And I know that it, it, it doesn't work in every season to be traveling. And so when you can't do it physically, um, digitally traveling is like the next best thing. And so um, often it can feel overwhelming trying to work out you know, uh, where to find information and, and which websites to go for and sort of collating a whole bunch of information on a different um, country. And so this is really cool. So Chantel has given you access to her course and it's a teachable course and you can see down the side here, it's got a whole bunch of introduction um, information here with links and um, guides on how to use the, the course. And then it's actually got every continent subdivided into countries. So if you, for instance, wanted to study with your children in Argentina, this would be a great starting point so that you're not going all over the internet looking at multiple websites and Pinterest boards, but you can just click on Argentina and Chantel has done all the hard work for you. So she's you know, linked out to a book list that she's created on her website with a whole bunch of high quality visual um, and literary resources. So that's a, a great way to start learning about our country with, with picture books. Um, she's also, um, linked to videos, 360 degree videos, um, and YouTube videos. So this is by no means an exhaustive list. Of course, there's lots that you could find on Argentina, but it's a really great starting point to sort of get your brain firing or, um, to give this resource to your kids. If they're maybe, I don't know, eight, seven or eight or older, you could actually just let them go through this course, choose a country, click on the links and sort of use that as a launching pad to direct their own learning. Um, so I can tell you right now, like the lists, they, these lists are great. So, um, I'm an Australian, so I've just had a quick look at the Australian list out of interest. And these books are really great books. Like I know a lot of them, they're really authentic books about Australia. Like, are we there yet? By Alison Lester, Possum Magic by Mem Fox. Um, so yeah, I think that it's just a fantastic way to start learning about the world and helping your children have a more global perspective. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. I always love hearing reviews and walkthroughs and, you know, being able to research a product like this before I purchase. Um, I will be maybe doing another video as well before the end of the sale, which is in, I think, three days. So look out for that. I'll be trying to add in a few more resources as well because there are so many I could mention. Um, and I will also mention that this is um, something that we're working with in partnership with the intentional homeschooling bundle. So we do uh, appreciate it if you can purchase via our link as it helps contribute to the Mulberry Journal, which is a free service and uh, helps keep it running. So that's really awesome if you can support us that way. But no pressure. <laughs> um, anyway, have a great day. Bye.